everyone, my name is Bethany and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my TBR for the Historical Romance Readathon. I'm really excited that, that our lovely host, who usually always hosts this, which is Jess from Peace Love Books, Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers, and Remarkably Lisa, are hosting this readathon. Again, I love historical romance. Historical romance is kind of like where my romance journey began. And I love it. It's definitely a comfort read for me. I love reading historical romance. And it's, I really haven't read a lot of historical romance this year. And I've been kind of feeling like the historical romance itch. I don't know. Is that a thing? I was really glad that you noticed this readathon. I'm really excited to join and I'm looking forward to it. This is a week long readathon. This is going to be from June 28th, which is a Monday, to July 4th, which is a Sunday. So that actually includes also a holiday weekend because. Here in the U.S. it is uh, the 4th of July, which is the Independence Day. There is a really fun bingo board I can show here, and it has a lot of really great fun prompts that have really familiar tropes and or cover descriptions, so I'm really excited. You can use books for multiple prompts, and a lot of these cross over, which is great, so I've used some of that for those. I try to keep my TBR really simple because I know I'm just not a huge reader. I can't read so much in a week. So I didn't definitely use um, books for multiple prompts. I would love to get to more if I can, but these are the ones that I set myself up with. And I also tried to use mostly ones that I already, uh, most of them I already have. Or at least I tried to use a few that were already on my TBR. These are the ones I ended up doing. So the group book you have is Olivia and the Masked Duke. This is by Grace Calloway. It's kind of also got like a suspenseful murder mystery type of plot to it. A girl, fall, a young woman falls into a situation where she ends up meeting a widower, Duke, and he's really intrigued by her. And there's also, I guess, a little bit of a taboo aspect because there's an age gap and she is, I guess, the daughter of his best friend or something, which that's kind of more scandalous than I thought this was going to be. So I really love it. I also love the cover on this too. So the prompts that this particular book covers is going to be, it's indie published, it's got a purple cover, and it's a clinch cover. Clinch cover being when couples are holding each other, essentially. It covers all those things, which is great. Next, I'm planning on reading The Madness of Lord Ian Mackenzie. The author I didn't include in my notes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. I think it's by Jennifer Ashley, but I'll put the cover here. This is going to be... Marriage of Convenience, a Scottish hero, and a series. I've been really excited about this particular historical romance novel. I've been really, really wanting to read it. I've seen a lot of people really enjoy it, and one of the things that I'm really excited about it is the fact that it's uh, depicted as an autism hero, which I'd love to see in historicals. Ian McKenzie, he ends up kind of going through some trauma. His father ends up taking him to an asylum. He stays there for many, many years until his brothers get him out finds this woman who he immediately falls for and says, I am going to marry you. <laughs> and she's like, no, you're not. <laughs> There's a situation where she ends up having to marry him. It's marriage convenience and things ensue from there. And I've heard really good things about it. I'm really excited about the a concept of a historical autistic hero, which is why I'm really excited to read it and really want to read it. So that is one I'm really looking forward to getting to. Next, I'm going to be reading The Rogue of Fifth Avenue by Joanna Shoup. This is the series of Uptown Girls. This has several other things um, that, is in, that is involved. We have a class difference, a self-made man, and this particular romance is not set in Europe. This particular series is on the Gilded Age, so most of the, this series takes place in the Gilded Age. The Rogue of Fifth Avenue is about a young girl who wants to help people and just be there for people and goes out of her way to be there for people while I believe he's her father's lawyer ends up having to like chase her and protect her because she keeps getting herself in situations that keep messing things up and he is um, has done really well for himself and really has gone above and beyond and has risen from, you know, being from really poor background and she is just doing silly things and he has to keep trying to save the situation. So I really like Jonna Shoup. I love her romances. I really enjoyed her. So this one I'm really looking forward to. Next, I'm going to be reading Duke of Pleasure by Elizabeth Hoyt. This is a Maiden Lane book that is number 11. I've read a lot of the Maiden Lane series and so I've taken a big break from it though and I'm really like looking forward to going back to it. And this particular one is one that I really wanted to read. So this as covers the prompts of a spy, Duke in the title, and one person on the cover. 
So in this particular romance, you have the Saint Ghost of Giles is a common antihero or more like vigilante that is, you know, takes care of St. Giles and tries to fight people who are doing bad things in the area of St. Giles. And in this particular romance, Saint, the ghost St. Giles, who you have seen multiple times in the series, is now being betrayed by a woman. And she runs into a duke, obviously, who uh, discovers that she's a woman and things ensue from there. And I just love, I so I really love the Ghost of St. Giles, like that arc for the mainline series and some of the other heroes that you've seen taking on that role have done really, were really, really interesting and I love to see their story. So I was really intrigued by this female Ghost of St. Giles, which is kind of why I wanted to pick up this one, even though I think I'm skipping to, I think I left off at eight and now I'm skipping to 11. It's fine. I'm looking forward to that, and I think it sounds really great. I'll probably be listening to that one on audio. The other ones I have on ebook. I'm still debating on which one I'm going to do. So there's Falling Into Bed with the Duke by Lorraine Heath. This one is about a spinster who decides to take her own fate, and she's just like, I'm just going to be a spinster from now on, but I want to have at least one sexual experience. And she goes basically to a sex club and meets up with someone who is really intrigued by her and is really interested in her. He also has a learning disability. He has a, where he, instead of dyslexia, it's this, I want to say it's, it's called dyscalculia. And that's where instead of mixing up letters, you mix up numbers, which I thought was really interesting as well. And that one I was hoping would cover, I know it's covers for Spinster, but I'm also hoping it covers for Wallflower prompt too. Cause I was really hard finding someone who was a Wallflower and a Spinster. I mean, I feel like most spinsters are wallflowers in general, but it wasn't necessarily in heavily implied. Or I was also considering Never Seduce a Scott by Maya Banks. This one has a particular heroine that has deaf, hard of hearing disability. So I really was interested in that one too. And I think she's also a spinster. At least she's a wallflower. I'm not sure if she's a spinster. <laughs> so like either or, I was having a really proud problem finding one that had both that I wanted to read or that was in a different format that I wanted to read. So We'll see how it goes. This is what I have planned so far. I'm going to stick to the five and just see how it goes. I might have two, one or two more planned tentatively, but I'm not sure I'm going to get to them. So I'm going to work from these and then go from there and just have a lot of fun for this readathon. I'm really, really excited. I love historical romance. I'm really looking forward to reading for this readathon and it's going to be a lot of fun. Let me know down in the comments if you're joining this readathon also and what some of your picks are or if you're reading any of the same things that I am, I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw and want to see more bookish things from me, please subscribe and hit likes and bells. I would really appreciate it as well as follow me on all my social medias that I have linked down below and you can follow me on all the things there. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!